Let's get to today's Daily Dish. This is a really fun story. It's gone viral online, and it comes from right here in the tri-state. Kendall Connor was going into labor at the Owensboro Regional Health Hospital, and like most families, her close family wanted to be there to support her for the big moment, but restrictions only allowed her boyfriend and her mom <laughs> in the labor area. So her sisters were disappointed, but they were not to be thwarted. My they heavens. decided Tara Groves and Amanda Morris decided they would get creative, and so they did a, a FaceTime with her. She's holding the the, the mom's holding the phone right yes, now. Yes, yes. And they're doing a little dance uh, called Push It, <laughs> oh, oh. holding up signs, which is exactly the coaching you need when you're in the delivery room. And this has gone crazy on the internet. So we we learned that she welcomed a healthy baby into the world, little girl. So way to go, sisters. I guess she wasn't in labor yet. <laughs> so, well, maybe she was just having a peaceful moment in between so. contractions. In between contractions. <laughs> yes, exactly right. Well, it's gone oh, crazy on the internet. It's Great when there's a story from right here and a happy story too. Those were some dancers too, right? They were there. moving. I they, think they'd done some practicing before I that. I think happened. they have. But what, what a creative way I'm going to be it there. It really is. I'm going to be there for my sister That's so and cool. my new baby. Well, it was a special treat for one of the ComEd's most unheralded field crews. It treated its team of 20 goats. Yes, they have a team of goats to a relaxing ride on the Chicago oh, River no. yesterday. It's not a bad way to spend the afternoon from work. Uh, they they chomp at the weeds, of course, and other vegetation around the downstate power lines, and this allows the human crews easier access for maintenance work and other tasks. ComEd said goats help maintain the power grid in an environmentally friendly way. Most of the goats spent the day chilling out in the shade and taking in the sights. Well, now that is creative. That is a very creative way and to do that. a sustainable way to help take care of the maintenance is hilarious. Yeah, find something high. You'll find a goat on top of it. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> it's the have you seen goat yoga? I think we've I had, have it, seen goat had yoga. it on the, yes. the show before. So people are actually little baby goats that takes are a, jumping on you and that on the back. That takes some strength to make sure that goat doesn't knock you out of your downward dog pose. I, know, well, I can't even do a downward dog without a goat. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to work with, on, with April nading on she that She can one. help us out. She yeah. can. Well, she's only nine, but Autumn Daniel has already found her purpose. She's working to build an inclusive of community for kids with type 1 diabetes. Autumn was diagnosed when she was only three, and out of that diagnosis came an idea to bring awareness through the T1D Looks Good On Me organization. She started it at age six. Autumn and her mom have designed several clothing items, home items, and all the proceeds go to serving this community. They also provide free uh, Sweet Life Essential Kits and th with things like, and you've got to have these, insulin pen needles, syringes, and snacks and a comforting letter for newly diagnosed families. What a sweetheart she is. That is because, I mean, you know, kids that have diabetes, you know, that's, you're, you're thinking your kids should be outside playing in the playground and right. not worrying about having to go to school and monitor their sugar levels All and day stuff. Long, so yes. anything like that is really cool, especially from a young one. Yes, she can say, I'm walking with you. I'm, I'm, I'm right walking there beside with you. you. Right, right. How well, sweet is in that? In that great, well, the world's in good hands when we have young people like that.